He gestures towards a man standing nearby, who is engaged in playing a game there. He explains to him that I can't speak. So, we see two surgeons Cactus and his companion, who were doing a goon surgery. His daughter was asking Lou, are you okay Lou? He is scared to see her, even if she falls into the water, he tells her to move away with a sign. Beginning at the start of the story, we see a child named Lou, who is swimming in the boat with his mom and dad. But suddenly he fell into the water and starts drowning. The boat's wing causes a very deep wound on his neck, due to which a lot of blood had come out of him. His mom and dad quickly take him to the hospital, where the doctor tells Lou's mom, that we will have to do your son's operation soon. If not, his voice could disappear forever. If we did not do the operation, it is possible that he could never speak. But here Lou's mom forbids the doctors from doing the operation, because she was very scared and says that God will cure her son. After this, the story goes many years ahead, where technology had become very advanced. Lou had also grown up now, but he still could not speak. In the evening, Lou goes to meet his friend, whose name was Nadira. She had brought a gift for him, which he opens, so there was a mobile phone in it. She says this gift is so that we can talk to each other on the message, because Lou could not speak. Even in the era of so much technology, Lou was very far from these things. He did not even know how to operate a mobile phone properly. His friend Nadira teaches him how to operate a phone, they both go to a club, and they both used to work here. Lou was a bartender here, so Nadira used to do the job of a waitress there. There, two men start teasing Nadira, they were talking to her in the wrong way, a friend of Nadira standing there, was also watching this thing, he takes her out and asks, did you arrange the money? She says no, not yet, and I have not told Lou about my old life. After doing all this, they both go to the club again, and Nadira starts her work again. But again, the same two men come and start misbehaving with her again. This time Lou saw them both. He starts beating one of them by taking him to the bathroom. Nadira explains to Lou, we can lose our job because of your anger. After this, the bar guards also remove those two men. Now Nadira gets a call from a man, who was telling her, the address of a place, which she started writing on her hand. But then Lou gives her his little diary, and Nadira writes the address of that place on it. When Lou was sleeping in his house at night, he hears someone crying from outside. When he goes and sees, Nadira sitting on the ground outside crying. She says, Lou, I have to tell you something that is very important. Then Lou writes something in his little diary and tells her, that nothing is more important in my life than you. She says, Lou, you don't know anything about me. And saying this, she started going from there. On the other hand, we see two surgeons Cactus and his associate, they were doing a goon surgery there. He had been shot by five bullets. Actually, they used to work for a big man in the black market, who had a very big hacking department. But now Cactus wanted to leave this job, and wanted to take his daughter away from there. That's why he asked his boss to make a fake ID of his and his daughter. Cactus asks the associate of the goon whose bullets he was removing, how long will your boss work for me? He mentions in the near future. When Lou was drinking coffee in a coffee shop, Cactus comes to him. He says, the two men you fought with in the bar, they work for a very big man here. If you try to fight with them in any way in the future, you will not survive. But his words don't matter to him at all. And Lou goes from there. When he comes to the bar, he sees that Nadira had not come to the bar. After a while, the same two men come there. Those who had misbehaved with Nadira earlier, they stand in front of Lou and talk wrong about Nadira. Lou was very angry at their talks. He hits the bottle of liquor on their face. Meanwhile, a waitress was hit by an elbow of Lou. Due to this, she fainted. Because of this, Lou's boss also removes him from the job. Lou was very angry after going home. He messages Nadira where are you? No answer comes. Now, Lou takes her picture and goes out to find her on the streets. On the way, he sees Nadira's friend who was going somewhere. Lou follows him and reaches that place. He asks him about Nadira. Her friend tells him that she has left you. On the contrary, she was hiding something from you. After knowing everything, Lou comes to his house, where he sees Nadira's message on his phone. I am in the hacker hall. When he goes there, he does not find Nadira there. But there were only two men who misbehaved with Nadira. They used to work here. He comes to those two men and asks about Nadira. They get angry at him and say why did you come here? Go away from here. We do not know where she is. Then Lou remembers his diary, in which Nadira had written the address of a man. Now he quickly reads the address in his diary. From this, he gets to know about the address. He reaches there quickly, when he goes and rings the doorbell. Then a man opens the door, whose appearance was a little strange. As soon as Lou goes, he sees a lot of pictures of girls in his house, which were pasted on the wall. That man says these are all those girls, who have been with me till now. Then Lou sees a picture on which Nadira was written. 
That man says, oh, this girl. I've lived with her as well. That man was thinking that Lu has come to take money from him. And he has been sent by the same man who used to send girls to him. He gets angry with the words of this man. When he was talking about Nadira. That's why he puts the same money in his mouth and beats him a lot. Now he had come to the same man in the hotel. Who had sent Nadira to that place. He asks that man, where is Nadira? He says, I don't know. Then Lu writes something in his diary and tells that man. Does your boss know that you use his waitress wrongly to earn money? He also shows him a picture of Nadira. Which he had got from that man's house. Now that man was scared. He tells the guard sitting there. Take this man out he has been bothering me for a long time. And still, he does not tell Lu anything about Nadira. Lu threw the money given by that man on his face and left. He now goes to the swimming pool. And screams a lot because he was worried. He did not know where Nadira was. Lu gets an idea, and he now goes to a machine. Which could trace the number. Lu wanted to know if Nadira really doing this message to him. Or someone else, when he starts typing Nadira's number into that machine. Then that machine tells him to speak the number. But poor Lu could not speak. That's why he points to the man standing nearby. Who was playing a game there. He explains to him that I can't speak. Will you help me? When that man says the number. Then the machine tells an address. Now Lu quickly goes to that address. Where she meets a girl. She took him inside with her. And goes and removes her wig. So here Lu finds out. That he was Nadira's friend. And the picture on which Nadira was written. That was also hers. Nadira's friend now tells him. That he needed money. And that's why she and I used to do this. Saying this. Nadira's friend gives an electric shock to Lu. And goes from there. Lu falls unconscious there. Their cactus's boss had brought a man to him. Whom he had beaten a lot. Says I think he is hiding something from us. And you have to find out about this soon. Because he was the same man. From whom Lu had met a while ago in the hotel. Now leaving. Cactus's boss says. You do my work and I will do your work. Your fake papers will be made by tomorrow. And here we find out. Cactus was not only a surgeon but also a very dangerous goon. As soon as his boss leaves. He starts torturing that man. He beats him a lot. On the other side. Lu had found Nadira's mother's address from a book. On which along with the numbers, the address was also written. He now goes to her house. Where he shows Nadira's mother his and Nadira's videos. She was very sad to see that video. Says my daughter Nadira had told me about you. Here Nadira's mother tells Lu one thing. That Nadira was married and she had a daughter too. Her husband is Cactus. Cactus was in bad work. That's why he used to beat Nadira a lot. And she after taking her daughter and leaving this city, wanted to go to some other city. Where she could go and live peacefully. That's why she was earning money. Hearing all this, Lu is now suspicious of Cactus. He suspects that he may be responsible for the vanishing of Nadira. Now here we are shown some old time. When Cactus had kidnapped Nadira. We see when Nadira had come to Lu's house. At that time Cactus was also hidden there. He comes to Lu's house. And mixes the medicine of unconsciousness in their tea. And when they were unconscious after drinking tea. So he picked up Nadira and brought her to his car. Now the story comes back to the present. When Cactus was sitting and having a party with his companion. Then his companion tells him while leaving. That I was the one who was messaging Lu as Nadira. That is, the message that Lu was receiving, were also being sent by Cactus's friend. Hearing this, Cactus gets angry. Because he had not told him anything about it. He is passing from there, from a shop. He picks up something without money and eats it. A guard came from behind. Who was saying sir, you will have to pay for it. But Cactus in anger. He takes out a knife and threatens the guard. But when his companion comes to stop him, then he also punches his face and beats him. When Lu was in his house, he messages Nadira's number and asks, Where will I get Cactus? She replies, On the same place. Where you used to work first, means in the bar. Lu's message was answered by Cactus's companion. He goes to the bar with a very big wooden stick, where he first kills the guards standing outside. Then he goes inside and kills everyone. And finally, he picks up a statue in the boss's head and hits him hard. Due to which he was injured. Lu had taken all the ids and papers of Cactus from here. On the other side, Cactus was also coming to the bar with his daughter. Because he had to take his fake papers. When he comes there and sees. Then he gets worried. Because all the people were injured. When he goes to his boss. Then he tells in a wounded condition that Lu had come here. He has done this to everyone. Now he quickly goes to his house. Because he knew. That Lu must have found out about his house from those papers. On the way, he also calls his companion. That he must reach his house quickly. On the other side, Lu reaches Cactus's house and goes to the basement. Where he first frees that man. Who was imprisoned by Cactus at the behest of his boss. Here Cactus also reaches his house. Where he first tells his daughter to hide in a room. 
and closes the door from outside. Then he goes to the basement with his sharp knife. Inside the basement, Lu reaches near a wooden door, which was closed. Cactus comes and kills the man first who was freed by Lu. He comes to Lu, and throws the keys out of his throat towards him, which was of the same wooden door. He says, go open that door. There is something special for you. When he opens it and goes inside, then first Lu opens the fridge. But there was nothing there. When he goes a little further, then there was a dead body of Nadira in a plastic bag. Who was killed by Cactus, Lu breaks seeing this. He picks up her dead body and takes it out. Then Cactus blocks his way and was trying to kill Lu too. Then he puts Nadira's dead body aside and stands up in front of Cactus with open arms. Here Cactus tells Lu the whole truth. He says I kidnapped Nadira from your house. I locked her in a plastic bag, because of which her breath began to suffocate. I killed her after making her agonize a lot, because she wanted to take my daughter away from me. Now Cactus takes out his knife and tries to kill him too. But Lu crosses the knife to the neck of Cactus, because of which blood began to come out of Cactus's neck, and he was slowly dying. After this Lu takes Nadira's dead body out of the plastic bag, and cries loudly, but the poor boy does not make a sound at all. He picked her up crying and brought her out. He did not have so much courage in him that he could even walk. He sits on the side and takes Nadira's dead body in his lap. Watching the video on the phone, he starts remembering his loving moments. Then Cactus's companion comes there, who goes to Cactus's house and first sees his daughter, which was locked in a room. He quickly goes to the basement where he sees Cactus, who was dying, but instead of helping him, he says to him, you have disappointed me a lot. Always insulted me. It's time to take revenge. He also takes his daughter. Cactus was able to see all this on the screen with the help of a camera. He had known that he would not do well with his daughter. Seeing this, he died. After this, he goes and makes Lu unconscious, and takes him to his clinic and does his throat operation. He puts a voice box in it. The next morning, he takes Lu to a bridge in the car, where Cactus's daughter was also with him. He takes him out of the car and first makes him sit on the bench. Then he opens the fence of the bridge. He wanted to hear sorry from Lu in his voice. He says to Lu again and again, Say sorry, you have killed my friend Cactus. But Lu grabs the companion of Cactus here, and jumps into the water, and holds him until he dies. Then Lu comes upside from the water, where the daughter of Cactus sitting on the bridge was asking Lu, Are you okay Lu? He is scared to see her, that even if she falls into the water, with that gesture, he tells her to move away, but she does not move. Now, when Lu shouts loudly that move away, so Lu's voice comes out for the first time. He also heard his voice for the first time. He had come to the bridge now, where Cactus's daughter says to him, Your voice is so funny. Both start laughing. He says I will take you to your grandmother who loves you very much. The film ends with this.